If you can imagine it, you can print it in 3D. In 1983, I was working for a company that did all kinds of applications with ultraviolet lamps. I saw the coatings, UV coatings as thin pieces of plastic. Maybe I could stack them up in some way to get quickly prototype parts. The process, I uh, used a vat of a photopolymer. That's a material that will change from the liquid state to a solid when ultraviolet light touches it. Draw the base of the part and drop it down one level. After it's all finished, it would pop up and you would have the printed part. So this process that I described, this apparatus, was the first 3D printer in the world. Part of the process was also how do you get the data from a computer, so we developed a format so that whole method is used in the whole 3D printing industry uh, today. You know, I was interested in commercializing the process. Again, the president of the company said, you know, I don't really have the money to do this. And so I agreed with him that I would spin out a new company, and I did. We started 3D Systems. We're here in Burbank, California. This is a facility where we serve the entertainment industry. It's just one example of what can be done with 3D printing. After the company was started and running well, I decided to retire. You know, I really didn't like that. <laughs> I, uh, so fortunately, the CEO of the company called and asked if I would come back, uh, which right away I did. <laughs> and I've been doing that uh, ever since Re and really enjoy it. We didn't envision that it would you know, change industry as much as it has. There's lots of things going on in all areas of 3D printing.